Hey, what up everybody? Uh, I'm just going to be talking about One Piece 1041 today. Um, currently it is not out. No spoilers are out either. Um, so I'm just going to be talking about what I think is going to happen or, you know, what the chapter might be about or, you know, <laughs> kind of what where the direction might go because there's only a few things left that we can really go to. But um, let's go over last chapter real quick. Um, kind of just the biggest summary of it. Kid and Law defeated Big Mom. Um, pretty impressive victory for both of them. Um, obviously, people are still saying Law, you know, looked really impressive, and Kid just eh. But uh, we'll, we'll see as time goes. Um, you know, the development of Kid and whatnot. I thought for the most part it's been it's been all right. Um, Law definitely he's fucking Law. He's one of the coolest characters in the whole fucking series. So we can't really <laughs> like like that was expected of him to do all that. Um, so that was the biggest take from last chapter, and then we also got the Zunisha stuff, but, um, but that was last chapter, let's go into 1041. Um, what is there left? Um, I guess we got the Korumasaki and Orochi situation going on. Um, he's most likely dying soon, so it's, it's inev inevitable, but we'll see, like, who gets involved. Like, it'd be cool to see Momonosuke have a little interaction with him before he gets defeated. Um, so I'm not really sure where that's, that whole um, scenario is gonna end. And then we got Momo, Yamato, and Zunisha, kind of just like, you know, is Zunisha gonna be coming in the next couple chapters? Is it gonna be the very next chapter? You know, what's the whole ordeal? And I like the whole idea with the, the sword on Onigashima that Zunisha is gonna like, I don't know, either use the sword to like slice it in half or some shit. I don't know. But that sword's being used. You just do not show a big sword for it not to be used. <laughs> um, CP0, um, I forget where we last saw them. Um, I think they might have been trying to get out of there, but uh, I want to see their little reaction to Big Mom being defeated, which I don't think anybody knows yet, because she was, she basically just got, like, you know, in the silent room. <laughs> um, so we could see more about CP0 and you know, if they're leaving the island, or you know, what's going on. Um, then, one of the biggest things we still haven't got yet is Kaido's backstory. Um, we got a little bit of it with like King and stuff, but like, we want to, I think everyone wants to see like the full on backstory to him, whether it's just Kaido's backstory or The Rock's backstory. We need to have one of those before this arc ends. Um, and I'm sure that's going to be before. The Luffy vs. Kaido fight, or maybe during it, um, it's, it's the last remaining fight that we really got right now, um, you know, we're, we're getting the awakenings of different pirates, and, you know, the sun god, and all this crazy shit with Luffy, like, is his, is his devil fruit the one that they changed the name to? We don't know, but, um, we'll, we'll have to see, but I cannot wait for this fight. Um, hopefully it picks off right where we last saw them, where they've just been brawling it out. I expect like a Luchi versus Luffy type of matchup here, where we get just them just throwing fists until one of them, you know, finally falls over. So that I I just cannot wait. Um, whether we get Gear Fifth, Gear Fourth Lion Man, or you know some kind of new form with Gears, um, Luffy's definitely gonna awaken, and we're, we're gonna. We're gonna see the fall of Kaido, and whether Big Mom comes back or now, we'll see. But I don't know. Yeah, this this arc is gonna have a great climax, and I can't wait to see where things go. And yeah, let me know what your thoughts are. I'm just chilling, and yeah, later.